outside. Hello, we're back again. And today we're putting together our mitt. And today we're going to put away, put, put together the one mitt. Okay, so. this is the, some of you have fur, some of you have coyote, um, or some of you have, sorry, rabbit fur, and that's what you're going to use on our mitts. We're using sort of like a fun fur just to, um, just to show you. Um, it's a nice, cheap wear, hair, way of doing mitts if you don't want to use rabbit fur or... Yeah, some people are allergic to that. So, so anyways, for this, now your mitt is done. So your mitt's done. Both sides are all sewed up good. And now you're going to turn them inside out. fight with it for a while. Sometimes you have to use even pliers to pull it through. <laughs> you don't use your teeth. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is your inside piece. And you're just going to slide your hand in like this. It should go in there. Real snug. Okay, so for me, I gotta pull my thumb out of this thumb hole just to get this down here at the at the top, so my finger is there's no little spaces there. And then push my couple fingers in my thumb just to make sure it's at the end. And there I go. Yeah. You know, sometimes at home, it's good to use a wooden spoon to pull your thumb and piece, your thumb piece in, make sure it's in there. Okay, how's your There we go. Good, high five. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There's our pair of mitts. And then we're gonna, we're gonna start. Are you we're gonna trim gonna, first? We're gonna trim it around. We're gonna be very, very careful. And take our time with trimming, with trimming just a little bit now make sure don't you don't cut the, you don't cut the uh, the glove the mitt. Now no talking. And you know, when you make mitts too, you can put your trim, you can make your trim any color you want. You know, you can have this color or you can put purple in or whatever color you got. Okay. Whatever, whatever you like that way because you're making mitts and you want to make them look up for, for you. So, okay, and we're going to, this is our fur. It's approximately two inches. All for we usually buy buy fur slope two inches. You can buy fur at two inches, and it's. You can buy it 
or you can cut it yourself. Uh, with the ones that we sent out to use, we cut them ourselves. So in some of the pieces that we sent out, they're about this long. You may have to join them or sew them together. Yeah, so. Okay. So we're going to put one of these on. Starting here. If the fur is running down, it's got to be running like this way. If the fur is running down, and you go down, you go against like this. And this is but so this is not really fur, so no, but you but still got to go with the. You still have to go down. Yeah, and you have to tuck your fur in on this underside of the mitt where you're put that way. Right here where your fur would be sticking up. So if anybody's wondering we just have a different color of thread this time. Um, just I've given all the thread out with the other kits that have went out. So I'm just gonna continue on with sewing this cuff. Out. I'm just done myself. <laughs> piece all sewn up. You can see how I've sewn it up on the edge and I just went around attaching the two pieces together. Okay. Alright, so when I flip it over, it's going to be like this for now. Okay, wait for me. Yep. That fun, fur, that fun fur is not really fun fur. <laughs> <laughs> fun part is picking it up. <laughs> so, and a good idea when you're sewing your mitts is at the end of it to have one of those um, stress balls, a little ball, just to sit there and help move your fingers. I know mine gets sore after sewing for so long, and that little stress ball helps me, um, I don't know, I guess straighten them out, or helps the muscles, because your fingers are in a certain position when you're sewing all the time. I don't know, is it, how do you, I got, I used to do it, and I used to stick my hand way in here and sew in here with this piece coming, but I find it so much easier just to fold part of my mid over like this. What I do is do this. Okay, yeah, same thing. Same mm -hmm. thing. And yeah. you can judge where you want to put it. Yeah. So I used to do, I used to do it, when I used to do it, I used to just try to sew from the inside. <laughs> and I was always stabbing well, myself. I think that's the way we're taught. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You don't have to do it that way. Yeah. Then you can pick where you want to. Yeah. I think it's pick just it. lesson learned. So. Or they teach you how to do that just so you uh, learn what it's like to pick yourself and figure out all your own little details. So yeah, as the uh, years go by, you learn. So sewing through this when it's like this is a little bit harder because you're trying to go through the the inside of the mitt without going. You're not going through the leather. Yeah, don't just go through the the sheet. Imitation sheepskin. It's the best they can get. Best imitation you can buy. Yeah. 
the guy told me. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's warm. That's all I can see. Okay. So I got my first thing. I like to use my leather when I'm pushing it through. I find it really hard to just push it through with my hand. I got this. Oh, that you made a long time ago. Once I put my one thing, I'm just going up through my hide. Yep. And then around. So have to make sure you don't have any little loops. And for this, I don't know about you, I'd like putting little knots all the way around. Just to Yeah, yeah, it won't hurt to tie it off here and there because it put knots of here and there because it, it's, it's your mitts. Uh, even if you're selling them or, or making them for a gift for somebody else, you don't you want you want them to last. It, you want to make sure you go through the fun work not just the top fluffy stuff because if you just go through the fluffy stuff like this you can pull your needle can pull right out so you need to make sure you're actually going through the through the all the parts of the inside. 